How's it going, everybody? And I hope you realize all the actual fact, and I am very much fact data. And, uh, yep, you're not seeing anything wrong. You're seeing a 7.8 quake there. Uh, basically, I think I can go ahead and zoom in. I used to be able to. Right now, I guess I might have changed my, which... Anyhow, we've got a 4.1 out to, looks like down by the border, down south California line, Mexican border line down there. And there also was a 7, and you can see all the numbers on the quakes there, and then there's a 6 point something uh, north of Australia there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll go to the actual factual and... You got what you got there. You got a 7.8. That's the big footprint. And I'll bring it back over here. Usually I can uh, zoom in, but I can put states on or something like that. I put, let me see, I'll put country lines on, put nation lines on, and see if we can go in. No. Usually I could zoom in, but that you can see it's 7.8. And then it's probably an 8.0 quake. And we'll get we'll see what we get off of the actual. We'll go to the actual factual instead of the drawdown with the USGS always does. And yeah, everything you've seen in Boston is exactly what you see in Boston. Okay, so I show you all. Uh, I showed you a lot of fact. Forget the truth. The truth is brainwash, and the brainwash is in Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay, so uh, and there's no need for Pennsylvania Avenue to be shut down. And somebody's worried about their safety, so. Probably got a lot of threats from a bunch of, you know, probably American citizens of some sorts. So anyway, the truth is on Pennsylvania Avenue, and the truth is your government lies to you 24-7. They have to. So anyhow, can't survive. The government can't survive without lying to you. So anyway, I hope you filled out your taxes. So they'll lie to you 24-7 until you're dead. Is that actual factual? And you'll pay your taxes till you're dead. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and get you some factual data on the quakes that we got going on here. And then, I guess, before I pop away, you see that 6.6 .6 right there. And the 7.8, you can, should be able to see that pretty easily right there. And that's the big footprint there on that quake there. And then the actual factuals will draw and show you. And this is just about not even two weeks worth of earthquakes, okay? And that's what's going on been going on for a long time. Most everybody that watches my channel is into watching the sun, earthquakes, and hey, we got one, a pretty good one up right in the North Pole there, 4.6, way up by the North Pole. So we're probably going to see a lot of action on the graph when I, I go get the graph and I'll bring up the actual factual ink data. What I was trying to do is roll down, I bet you I can zoom in now, and they usually, when I have the funky players, no. So what I'll do, maybe I can... I'm trying to roll the globe over so that we can get a look. There we go. I guess. Nope. And I'm not going to edit too much. I'm just trying to show you the 7.8. And then right now, as you can see, I got it around. The, we've been looking around the earth here. That you can pretty much see all the quakes in the world. There we go. I finally inch it down to the bottom. So, and then we'll just spin around. So, that's just not even two weeks worth of quakes okay and that's just big ones usually uh, basically it is, I have this set it uh, basically you're not going to pick anything up unless it's like a 2.9 or bigger so factual actual yeah 2.8 I think a 1 point actually I just maybe put a little bit of a fib I think I got it set there's like 1.7 or something will show up for an earthquake so we got a lot of quakes. Going to keep on having them for quite a while. We're just in a certain uh, time in the life of Earth. And I think it's going to be relaxed and get back to somewhat of a norm in around 2016. So, heads up. 7.8 quakes. And here is a very good, fast example, too, that, that I can show you the factual of that basically the super giants is what causes this. And it's basically super giant stars that are way the hell out in space. As you can see, that this is the solar imaging of what from up in space is basically beaming down, and the rise and set 
is what causes your quakes and basically the thermal dynamics that you get from radioactive stars out in space and as you can see here and then you get the number and the amplitude that it hits off at and then that's where you get that that quake there of the and I'm pretty sure and actually yeah you'll get what basically way the hell out there gave us our our 7.8 quake and as you can see you see it's all solar energy it's all magnetical energy also you know uh, a huge magnetical dark planet could also possibly but basically this is a supergiant that did this and that's where the supergiant that I got down to the South Pole that came around yeah this is basically there's way more than one Sun and we get energy from way more than one Sun from way the hell out in space and right now we're getting very and it's not atmosphere thinning we actually our atmosphere is not thinning at all there's all kinds of hype about because it's basically a battle against drill baby drill and electrical energy companies okay electrical energy companies need a lot of drill baby drill fuel to operate a lot of their plants besides what they got nuclear okay and the nuclear is actually dangerous and I tell you that the idea that it's the silent invisible death and it is cancer and radiation causes cancer poison okay as you can see on that quake there the 7.8 that the big ring and then yes from way the hell out in space big super giant suns okay so and yes the sun moves around so the idea of these smaller ones are caused by our sun in our solar system okay but a lot of the bigger ones are caused by a combination of solar energy from outer space with our sun combined okay so uh, actual factual okay and then uh, there's also magnetical movement and I'm gonna take you to one of my videos that I just recently did if you're new to my channel and it factually shows you the magnetical I was showing everybody that the idea that we're going to be calm on the 15th and then I told everybody that we'd probably get a big quake after the calmness that we get on the 15th from the alignment this is the big quake that we get from breaking away from the magnetical that we were getting the big quakes a little bit earlier now this is a video I did on Springside which is a comet that's going to be coming around in, in October November of basically and this is going to change a little bit and I'm going to have a new video for this and you see they used to have it down where the idea was going to hit it's going to be about 5,000 kilometers away okay uh, I'll give you some fresh updated and this basically is from one of you can go look up this title and watch my movie uh, kind of promote one of my old movies this isn't that old and basically uh, it's going to come around real close to Mars but otherwise you are no threat from any object in space that I know of right now okay but we will continue to get more magnetic thermodynamic radioactive energy from outer space and it matches up with the thermal radioactive thermodynamic electrical energy from inside our core of earth the dead center of the earth which is a dead little old star but as you see lava comes out of volcanoes so we still have a lot of thermal energy inside our core our little dead star that's in there smoldering is humongously hot lava will burn you don't touch it and it's radioactive too so watch out for the radioactive elements of your earth okay and also fuka fudge up which in combination they love to have sex radioactive nuclei love to magneticize to each other whammo just like two huge magnets going kabam together so yes then that's what we're always physicists are afraid of these huge supergiant stars, if they were ever to fall out of where they are at in space, they would magnetically come rushing towards the sun or possibly Earth. Anything magnetical. It's a sexual attraction. It's a magnetical. Okay? Go get two magnets. They won't want to really do anything with each other and then all of a sudden, wham, they're stuck together like a couple of dogs. Go get a go get some go get a gallon of cold water and throw it on them. They'll separate. Okay? So actual factual, everything's electrical. Okay? Everything's electrical. And folks, basically, I want to give you this video here from Ole C. Solomonson's, okay? And then he's on this here, which is basically just a, it's a, one of those things where you pay money and stuff like that. They, It's a some kind of a web blog holder or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Not advertising for him. And it's here, see, I don't accept any advertisement money, and I'm non -pro I run non-profits. So 
I'm not using this for any commercial use, and I want to thank Oli for this great footage here. I haven't even seen this yet, so I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy it, and I'm going to try to get the music knocked down. Where's the sound on this thing? There you go. So basically, it's electrical energy, ladies and gentlemen, and that is auroral action that we're getting all the way down. I believe this is probably somewhere Scandinavia, Norway, whatever. And he says Arctic, so he's getting this up towards the Arctic somewhere. More towards the European area, though, north of Europe. Probably somewhere north of Oslo or something. Well, I want to thank Oli for this. This is some great action. So everything's electrical, ladies and gentlemen. Static electrical. It's the smallest nanoparticle that man is ever going to know. And as you can see, you'll see a comet. You've seen a comet there go through that if you back that up. This is some great footage, Oli. And I kind of hate to. Uh, so basically, you can kind of see, you can go search that that name brand of uh, what uploads. It's the, he, what he's using, I think, from over. I think it's one of the more ho better hosters of videos from overseas, I think, or something like that. But it's he, basically, it's kind of like, a, it's his website. So it's a website hoster that he uses, whatever that brand name is. So anyway... Some beautiful Mother Nature electrical action, ladies and gentlemen. It's all electrical. We get all everything from space. Your wind comes from space. Your moisture comes from space. And we're never going to run out of moisture because we have an atmosphere. We have a plasma field. Okay. We do accept moisture in from outer space. They're starting to find that out. Okay. And we do get electrical, massive. It basically runs our planet. Electrical. I'm an electrician. Okay. Eddy currents go to ground. That's where they need to go. Otherwise, you would die from static electricity. Okay? We get static electricity from outer space all the time. It's what I showed you here with the aurorals, northern lights. And you also get it down at the South Pole. They've been getting aurorals down there, too. So i got to hurry up and get to the earthquake action. And only I hate dropping away from your video. So anybody in here at my site from the actual factual from the Boston stuff, uh, God bless. You know, <coughs> hopefully the... The game players will quit playing games and get back to normal humanistical life. And actual factual, we'll share some more data with you here. Uh, earthquake action, 6.0 in Pakistan. Looks like the 6.0 is the biggest, but and it is there at very accurate because it's 33 kilometers deep, and we got 87 kilometers deep and 100 kilometers deep. So they got action going on there. That's kind of rolling away from what. Iran has been having. We might find that when we come through the data here real fast. We got a 6.8 Papua New Guinea, 7.0 Papua New Guinea. Uh, watch your depths here. This is kilometers deep. Okay, so these are actual factual 26 kilometers deep, 7.0. That's an actual quake. Okay, your time still left. It doesn't really matter too much. Sometimes, you, and then you've got your GPS locations too. It'll be a little bit different. Uh, doesn't really matter. You take the biggest quake. The USGS always cheats it. They, it's basically markets, world food markets, and all that stuff like that. Hey, I'm in business too, so you know you don't want everybody scared to death. The world, end of the world's coming, and in the end, the world ain't coming. Now you watch your mag line. This is your earthquake magnetism right here. Okay, coming down through here. So uh, the 7.8. I'm looking for. Uh, maybe it got wiped off here. You got to realize that that they can wipe certain quakes off. Uh, sometimes they don't report in. So, and I'm showing you that 7.8 off of USGS. So it might be one of the blank ones here. Nope, there we go, 7.8, and it was in Iran. And there you go, there's your deep, 86 kilometers deep. And you got it at 15 kilometers deep. And a 7.9 at 24 kilometers deep. So like I say, you basically had a 7.9 quake. Pretty damn close to an 8. But you can't call it an 8 because I do not see any 8s. And this is the scientific data. This is what the seismologists look at. Anybody can be a seismologist. I can teach you how to be a seismologist in about a half an hour. Okay? You just read magnetism of earthquakes and kilometers deep in the locations. And then you tell, put it in the teletype and you send it over the lines. And there you go, folks. Pick an area you like. we got ink everywhere. So basically, we got a worldwide earthquake. I've showed you basically 7.9 magnitude. 
pretty much makes every graph in the world pretty much shake its little ass off. Okay? So you got lots of ink. You can slow it down.